so what's next for you guys tonight? Um, we've not got anything. We've just been to Bart House for dinner. Okay, um, nice. Uh, we're just having a, I think we're going to go into Jock Lindley's bar, some quick drink. Okay. And that's about it really, we haven't got anything else planned. Spent afternoon shopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> With the ferries coming down. I used to be on the road with some, some pretty big artists, right? And I was used to playing in front of a lot of people. Okay, well, I, uh, I realized I needed to make money when that stopped, so I started picking up some cover gigs. But I didn't know really know a whole lot of cover songs. So I'm playing in this little, this little patio situation, nothing like this, okay? And it's July in Florida, all right? It's in the middle of the day, so there's, there's, there's like... 350 degrees outside. And there's these misters with these fans blowing water over me and my gear. I'm not playing, I'm not having the best time. 
I'm playing for about three people, all right? And it's just straight up background music. And um, I, I busted this next song out because I like it. And this guy comes up to me, he's like, hey man, you did a good job with that tune. He's like, you know, I wrote it. And I'm like, yeah, right. There's three people at this place. That's it. And so I, I don't believe them. I'm asking him all these questions. I'm trying to catch him in it, right? He knows all the right answers. And when I walk away, I Google search him. And it was totally him. <laughs> so you never know who you're going to meet, even. There's three or three thousand, so I try to play the same way. Yeah, he wrote a song called The Dance for Garth Brooks. His name was Tony Ariala. I can't say his last name well. But yeah. One of the better country music songs of all time. Somebody like you 